Hello everyone, how are we doing today? I trust each and every one of you as well. My name is Roger, and this is Grand Theft Auto Vice City. How to get up to our 6 star wonder level with no cop interest. Now, I would like to point out that this video will have timestamps in the video description. That is because this video is kind of long, and I can't imagine everybody wanting to watch the whole thing. Which is totally understandable, that is why I've put the timestamps in chapters so you can fast forward to what you want to watch instantly. Now let's talk preparation. The first thing you're going to need is a weapon with manual aim and there are five weapons scattered across the map that are ready to use when you are. They are either one of these assault rifles, either one of these sniper rifles, or the rocket launcher. Ammo and armor will be useful, a vehicle of your choice, and the most important thing a phone call. Tommy, Tomas, it's Cortez. Que pasa? Things are interesting. How are you, my friend? Now I'm going to explain it and then execute it so you can start your very own fun. Make sure you have your manual weapon on hand and if you're in your vehicle, exit your vehicle and try not to stand too close to your vehicle. Wait for the call and when you get the call, do not answer it. Instead, press and hold the button for manual aim and then answer the call. If you've done it right, you should be on the call while having free range of all of your weapons. However, this call will end, but you can make things more permanent by attempting to get back in your vehicle and then immediately interrupting the interest of getting in your vehicle by moving the left analog stick. It sounds a little crazy and a little tricky, might even be a little hard, it might give you a couple tries, but I promise you it's worth it. Now it's time to execute. Tommy, Tomas, how are you, my friend? Sometimes a character will sound like that or have a high pitched voice. But if no one is talking on the phone, you know you've done it right. Also, I like to point out this is my 100% save. You do not need to complete the game 100%. You just need the tools that I explained at the beginning of this video. And all the tools just happen to be on the save. But as I promised, a cop that I'm aiming at does not care. A cop that I'm shooting at does not care. Two cops just came out of their squad car and I blow it up and nobody that's supposed to care does care. Now that I have explained and executed the glitch to you, let's go over the pros. This glitch affects the following. Cops, FBI level 3, SWAT, FBI level 5, and even the Army. This glitch also affects non-law enforcement such as Patrol Invest Group, Army guys that spawn on base that do not like firefighters for some reason, <laughs> rival gang members, or pretty much anyone that wants to see you harm. If you want someone that wants to see you harm to stand still, approach them and whack them. Since you're technically still on the phone, they have to wait for you to get off the phone to engage with you. Until then, they stand still. But be wary, sometimes they will wander off. This glitch will allow you to stick up most of the stores with ease. Allow you to get a 6 star wanted level with ease headshots with ease and even allow you to do stuff like steal a tank so you could have fun with it or save it for later for your own leisure. Alright now let's get into the cons of this glitch. Let's say there's a vehicle you really want but you forget the glitch is in play. That can happen to you. Also it's important to know that you're not allowed to go in certain buildings like the hotel from the beginning of the game because if you do, you'll activate a weird limbo glitch where the cops just take interest in you. Same thing can be said about the mansion in the middle of the map. You're technically still on the phone, but if you step inside, the cops will take interest in you. Same principles apply to the Cuban Cafe, so if you're going to go for the robbing stores, keep this in mind. This is the only building in the entire map where you can enter it without activating the limbo glitch. 
I guess because technically you're not entering a building, you're being teleported to a roof. And to prove it, here are some cops that do not care I exist. This glitch will also lock you out of the police station, the Malibu club, and the pole position club. However, if you can get a vehicle inside an interior, or find a vehicle inside an interior, you can use the glitch. However, when you go outside, you'll activate the limbo glitch, but in reverse. So experimenting from the inside has more limits, but you can do something like combine this glitch with the ghost town glitch, go about on the ghost town, but it could be a little riskier. You're kind of deprived of your vision. You can crash into anything. You could fall in the water. The only thing that you could really take advantage of is that there's no cars on the streets. And that, my dear friends, is all the information I could share with you. Maybe if some of you are motivated to play Vice City again, you could probably further this glitch better than I ever could. So if you found this video fun, useful, interesting, entertaining, or anything in between, please give it a like and share it with a friend who plays Vice City who could probably take advantage of this little trick. So take care and be well in that order.